Giddy up. Need to speak to the Duchess urgently. All right, you scamps. Store is done. Go find your parents. But the Pamarin. What about the story of Ritik and the dragon? A tales for another time. But take a good look at the man who stands before you now. This is Geralt of Rivia, the master witcher who lent his valiant hand to the defeat of the giant Goliath. Master Witcher. Is it true virtue always trumps villainy? Not always. Could go either way. Sometimes virtue wins, sometimes villainy gets the upper hand. Still worth being good. But why? If it doesn't mean you'll win. Palmer and Story, think back. A decent man attracts other good folk, makes friends he can count on. The rogue? Well, he can only count on other rogues. And who would you rather have for a friend? A man of virtue? I must agree. Now, that will do for questions. Go find your parents. Her enlightened highness has doubtless arrived at the tourney grounds to watch the battle in the arena. If we hurry, we'll be in time to speak with her before the spectacle begins. Lead the way. Fighting. Elf Guardian gladiators. Close, but not quite. As you will soon see. Someone's gonna fight a shale mar with only some elf on its tail to confuse it, slow it down. Whatever is the problem? The beast is a gift from the Emperor, no less. Dangerous. Bells on its tail aren't enough. I saw a set full of resort of the arena in Nunya. There, a nice piece of Shelmar with bells on its tail. Might have gotten lucky. Shelmar might have been lame. Who knows? Only a witcher has a real chance against the healthy Shelmar. And that's not even every witcher. Besides which, releasing a monster that dangerous in front of a crowd? Plain irresponsible. Who's going to fight the beast? Guillaume, a young man you met. Yeah. Mentioned he promised his heart's capture a monster trophy. Great luck demands great sacrifices. Let's go. Dedicate my imminent victory to fair lady Vivian. It's begun. The fight shall have to end first. We must wait. Bad 
feeling about this. Defeated by Geralt of Rithia, master of the witchering trade. Behold, as the last gasps of life seep from the beast. Master Geralt, do what you must. Finish the deed! Monster's no threat. No need to kill it. A victor may always show mercy. It is his right. Long live Garrett the Merciful! Pikeman, see to the beast! Came down to cross the line. I'm fine. Not hurt at all. Vivian? Smile as befits a hero and keeps silent. Speech clearly paints you. She approaches. Geralt. We must talk. Vivian. You shall talk later. In the medic's tent. Geralt, magnificent, breathtaking. Your grace. We knew that to summon you was a brilliant idea. We are delighted, raffish, to have struck upon it. And I'm truly... Uh, honored. See to our young hero. Hop, hop. For we must make off with Geralt. We should talk. We had been long awaiting your arrival. Had nearly lost hope. Then suddenly... That entrance, so spectacular. Your Grace, Shalemars are dangerous creatures, even to knights in full plate armor. Nonsense. In Toussaint, knights have battled beasts for mere glory since time immemorial. True. Guillaume suffered a few bumps, scars, and bruises, 
But in return, gained eternal glory as he who slew the monster. Mm -hmm. What about the crowd? Say the Shalemar had vaulted into the stands. Would have been a massacre. Geralt, though we value your fortuitous intervention in the arena, we would remind you your services have been retained. And as shall soon become clear, you will be generously compensated for completing another task altogether. Your grace, my contract. I'd like to discuss it. Naturally, but not here. We shall need Damien. He let the investigation pending your arrival. But wherever could he be? Come, we must find him. Tell us, have you come alone? Or did Viscount Julian accompany you? Wish to see Dandelion, Your Grace? Yes. I mean, no. Ugh. <sighs> yes. But solely to tell him we regret. Yes, deeply regret rescinding the death sentence we so justly handed down upon him. If we could turn back time, we would make certain he sat in a tower till he rotted. No, we would ensure he was broken on the wheel, then drawn, hanged, and quartered. Ah, the very man we would entrust with these tasks. Damien de la Tour, captain of my personal guard. Your Grace, Witcher. Greetings. Sorry to have to tell you. But the guardsmen handling the last victim's body. I know already. The creature in the cellar of Corfo Bianco. Was it the beast? No. A bruxa. A kind of vampire. Not the beast, but tied to it in some way. You know this how? Through careful analysis of the evidence, both on the riverbank and at Corvo Bianco. Do you mean to insinuate the investigation thus far has been sloppy? Geralt insinuates nothing of the sort. We must listen to him, attentively. I examined the body of the beast's last victim. Might have found something. Need to analyze it. A quiet place, that's what I could use most right now. And maybe the help of an alchemist or a mage. Also like to hear all you know about the previous victims. Take it Sir Delatour is my man for that. Firstly, call me Damien, please. Secondly, you should know I spoke against summoning you here. I've heard much about you. You bring trouble, or thus far have, always. And we've enough trouble as it is. Yet we are capable of defeating the beast on our own, without an outsider's help. I've no doubt about it. Damien, we settled the matter of the Witcher's employ some time past. Definitively. Since you have broached it, nonetheless, let us discuss Geralt's pay. Are the legends true? Do witchers usually demand that which you find at home, yet did not expect? Not quite, Your Grace. Law of surprise, it's something we invoke at times, but rarely. Usually we just take gold. Disappointing. This law sounds rather romantic. On the other hand, on returning to the palace, we would likely find impatient petitioners or a set of sample fabrics for a new dress. Poor rewards, both. I fear you'd not have much use for any of the surprises we are likely to come upon. Thus, we've decided you shall receive the deed to a vineyard, Corvo Bianco, and a sum of coin. You will doubtless consider this adequate. Title to the vineyard shall be given to you at once. Surely you'll need lodgings while you hunt. The coin, however, will be yours only once you have slain the beast. Lovely, generous gesture, Your Grace. But, uh, Obianco, isn't it the Duchy's temporary morgue? Is it now? The Chancellery's bundled things again, we fear. 